Hi there. The use of modules is nearly universal and each organization could have hundreds of modules. Now, if a module author simply deletes a module version from the private registry without proactively notifying the module consumer, their workspace would fail and require manual intervention to update module references later. This can be a security and compliance issue. In this video, we'll introduce module lifecycle management that provides visibility with safe views, improves communication with change requests and notifications, and gives control with deprecation. First, let's go over team notifications. Here, I have a team already set up, and I'm going to create notifications and enable them for all team members and all workspace events. Next, I'll go to the registry and go to my Terraform module that creates a VPC resources on AWS and deprecate the current module version. In this case, we want to deprecate the module because there's a newer version available. Once the module is deprecated, I go to my terminal and run Terraform apply. The config file here references the deprecated version of the module. Now, if I go back and refresh the UI and look at the run that I just triggered via the CLI, there is going to be a warning displayed that indicates that I'm referencing a deprecated version of the module and to upgrade to a newer version. As an admin, I can go to the Explorer window and run a query to find all workspaces that reference the module version that was deprecated. I can also save this view and call it deprecated module workspaces for future reference. You'll see the view that I just created along with the others that I previously created in this window. You'll see under the saved views tab, I can now create a change request right from here to communicate infrastructure lifecycle events such as module deprecation, drift remediation, provider upgrades and infrastructure changes. Change requests combined with team notifications ensures that all requests always get to the right owners proactively. As you can see here, module consumers receive an email notification asking them to upgrade to a newer version. And clicking on that tab there brings them back to the workspace that needs to be updated.